All right, hello everyone and welcome back to my happy hour live stream of Europa Universalis for the El Dorado expansion, where we are playing as Cusco. And, uh, oh boy, I don't remember much of what we were doing here. Uh, sadly, I missed last week's stream because my internet was out. Not sure why, even when they came the next day to fix it. They didn't know why, but it was back on and working. So, um, yeah, that's why we missed it last week. I do apologize. Unfortunately, nothing much I could do about it. Uh, but yes, so that means we haven't played this now in, like, two weeks. So I, I, I vaguely remember that we had a revolt. Uh, and mainly I remember it because we are unseaging a revolt here. I think... Oh, yes, 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 that's what it was. It was from Religious Reforms. We took the Morale of Armies one. And then revolts popped up everywhere. And as, us as usual with the revolts and me, I had a horrible, horrible time. All the RNG bullshit drove me mad. And, uh, yeah, but we won, we won, and uh, we're taking out this last siege, then we'll be good to go. We have our glorious Cusco Empire here, our vassal of Charca, our vassal of Guarani, and also our vassal of Ichma. All good, good vassals to have. I am thinking, though, because I've got some plans. I've got some plans. Now that we have Ichma here, we should be able to go to war. Ah, yes, we should be able to. We should be able to go to war with these guys to take this province for Ichma, and Chimu is their ally, and so at the same time we could go to war with Chimu, take them out and make them a vassal, and with Chimu as a vassal, we get claims on Quito, hold on, let's close this here just to make sure, yeah, Quito, and also this Kajamarka here, so with one war, to take these two, we could then have a place set up and good to go for one more war to take everything we need to become the Incas. And that, <laughs> that makes me very happy. So that's what we're going to work towards today. Um, I don't actually know if we'll get to do it because you may notice I have zero manpower. So let's actually unpause and hope we can actually build up some manpower here. I am thinking, like I said, that we could uh, take Grani or it is that how we said that Grani, I guess. Yeah, close enough. And we will uh, bring them into the fold of the rest of our empire, which can we do we have to wait? We need to get 190 opinion uh, with them, and I am working on that, so that shouldn't be too bad. We should be able to get that pretty soon. And I'm liking that they've got the seven stack of soldiers here, because if we can annex them really quickly... Uh, oh, hey, we defeated the... Oh, that was a mission. Oh, yeah, we got that mission, like, right at the end of the last episode, where it was to defeat the rebels. And with that last little bit of their uh, sieging there, we did, in fact, win. Do we have any other? Ooh, we'd incorporate them into our nation. That is actually what I'm wanting to do. So, we'll take that. And I was also thinking, maybe we incorporate Charka. Ah, uh, God, which I really kind of want to. Mainly, mainly I want to take Charka so that we can, you know, actually have this all connected here. Because I feel kind of bad for Charka having this one little province here just kind of on its own. Which is entirely my fault. I meant to take it in an early war, but yeah, I don't remember exactly what happened because it was weeks ago now. But st something went wrong. Terribly, terribly wrong. And uh, we didn't get this province. I think I misclicked or something like that. Um, but yes, so I, I was originally thinking maybe we take Charka, but one gold mine, two gold mines, three gold mines. I'm already getting a hell of a lot of inflation from the gold mines I have, so I kind of don't want three more yet. Yet. I mean, eventually I will incorporate them, just like I will eventually incorporate Ichma, which will be glorious. But for now, let's just take this little fella down here, and hopefully we can do it quick, because he has this seven stack of soldiers, which I would love to just throw into my main army and, you know, uh, incorporate them all together. Oh god, what's the proper term? I've, uh, hold on, oh god, when was this? 
Local fortification experts discovered. Gain a military engineer. Uh, but he'd be like a, a much higher up, more skilled guy. I really don't have the money to do that. So we'll take local defensiveness. Um, consolidate. That's the word I was looking for. Yes, I'd like for the seven stack to get up here real quick so I can consolidate them. But of course, that means I have to get them up. Oh, God, 180 or what? No, no, 190. So we've got a... We've got a ways. Oh, boy. <laughs> My army might be fully restocked with soldiers before that happens. But, oh, well, oh, well. That's, yeah, just how the die rolls. But let's see. How are our vassals thinking of us at the moment? Each ma? Or each, each ma? Yeah, here, 178. I might need to help them along a little bit. I should probably... Improve relations. Well, yeah. Most of the bad relations is because we were at war with them and we annexed the vassal and uh, relative power to us, which is understandable. Right now, I've taken some heavy losses from all the freaking rebels, which it came at a bad time. I did the uh, the uh, reform thing shortly after our war with Ichma, and so <laughs> I already had low manpower, and then you throw that on top of it all, it just, it, uh, it spiraled out of control, it was not good, it was not good at all, but we are good now, we, uh, oh, they have some rebels up there, yeah, I'll let you take care of that yourselves, oh boy, lucky you though, getting a rebel on an area that's not a freaking mountain, I mean, you still get the, uh, river crossing, but, uh, not mountains, Oh god, those rebels that were up in these two, I remember them being so painful because I got a river crossing plus mountains and uh, it's just, oh uh, god. <laughs> I hate rebels. I really, really hate rebels. And thus, I kind of dislike this religious reform mechanic. <laughs> oh well, it's it's what we've chosen to de deal with here, so uh, we're gonna go with it. Oh boy. That's why I always try and Avoid rebels at all costs. There's just such a pain in the ass. Uh, that may also be why I rarely ever create mass sprawling empires. Like, I always see those on the subreddit for EU4. You know, people showing images of them conquering the entirety of Europe or, you know, all of the world in some cases. I'm always so impressed by that because I've never done that. The biggest, the biggest empire I've ever made was when I when I played Castile and I just colonized the crap out of the new world and I had a mod on so that it didn't create colonial nations so I basically forgot about the rest of Europe and just <laughs> focused on colonizing the new world I controlled about half of South America before I finally gave up on that game because it was just getting boring but uh, yeah yeah probably my aversion to uh Rebels and taking ten, having a tendency to take things more slowly. It's probably why I never grow to those large, vast, sprawling empires. But oh well, oh well. Say la vie. Let's actually move you down here. Oh, hello. Lose 10 prestige or 10 administrative power. Or 50 administrative power, rather. I will lose the admin power. It Percentage-wise, that's much lower. So there we go. So yeah, we're not gonna... Hmm, yeah, we're not going to be able to uh, annex them before this army completely uh, gets rebuilt, sadly. But still, just in case, on the vague hope that maybe, just maybe... Oh, hello. Six nationalists and five authority. Or a chance of... Or no, wait, lose five authority. Oh, God, we'll take this one. Where's Qualicos? Where's Qualicos? Da, 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 da. Hold on, hold on. You'd think I'd remember where all my provinces are by now. I mean, I don't have, like, a huge... Em oh, there it is! Okay, well, we're gonna go into Potosi, so we don't get a river crossing. And we'll take this one, because I don't want to lose authority. There we go. Okay. On pause, uh, boy. Re well, hey, maybe we will have to, uh, have enough time to, you know... Oh god, oh god, rise of a pretender. Two pretender regiments and queer. Oh god, just two regiments? Eh. Oh, oh, it's because our king died. Oh no. And our heir kind of sucked. Our new heir, 
also sucks. I mean, he's got good admin power, but damn, zero Diplo? Oh, God. Okay, two Pretender... Okay, where are they? Go to. You, that Ichima, go th kill them. I mean, I'm happy that you seem to be coming down here to help with these guys, but they're, they are right there. Right there. <laughs> okay, unpause. Yeah, he actually does seem to be coming down to help. Holy crap. That's amazing. What the hell, Charka? You're just sitting there. <laughs> Join in. Join into the battle. <laughs> Seriously, what the hell, Charka? Ichma, who I just recently conquered, <laughs> is helping me out, but you're sitting there just, you know, sitting on your butt in your capital. Damn you. Damn you. Oh my god, they're even going after that one. Oh, that's beautiful. I don't even have to help. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Ichma. You're you're great. Though that does now hinder my plans of using... Oh, oh god, we can we can do this. Okay, okay, okay. Let's recall your diplomat. And annex. There we go. I may still be able to get some of their soldiers. Which would be nice. Mainly because then I can, you know, it can focus on uh, rebuilding my main manpower once this army's filled back up with soldiers again. So that's why I kind of want to consolidate my forces which, with their soldiers. Which for right now, I mean, we still got a good chance of that because, oh god, we have 20 regiments. But look at all those with zero in them. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. But hopefully... Hopefully this should be good for me. 33%. So it'll go pretty quickly. I mean, they are just a one-province miner that we're annexing. But still. But still. And our glorious plans for taking these out. I like this. I like this. Oh, God. What's this? National Bank in trouble. Lose cash. Or gain three... Oh, God, three inflation? I'll lose the cash. Thank you. Okay, how is my inflation, actually? Not bad. I'll wait till it gets to two to reduce it. And on tech... Economic ideas. Oh, yeah, I forgot to take this. Let's take that. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bum, ten national tax modifier. Uh, I think I might take the next tech in that, too, because I'm not too keen on the farm estates and production efficiency for our next admin tech level. Ooh, oh my god, we're about to get horses. Yes. Oh, that makes me happy. Uh, but yeah, let's take the build cost reducing, because I do actually have a lot of buildings that I need to make that I, I'm kind of, I've been putting off. So I need to do that. On that note, let's just take care of that now. Let's pause momentarily. Oh, God. Noble family request aid. I'll lose the cash. There we go. Uh, temples. We need more temples to make more money. I always love more money. Though, we've been having manpower problems, so maybe I should build some armories. Yeah, let's do that instead. Because money isn't too big of an issue for me. But manpower has been. So let's add them to the areas where we've got the most manpower already. So we get a better increase out of it. And there we go. These, oh, that's because of their autonomy. That's why we don't have much there. So these would kind of be a waste there. So let's build a bank here. Or not a bank, a temple, rather. There we go. That should be good. And we almost have them annexed. Lovely. And... Oh, we gotta wait till the next month for it to fully pop. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Aha! We've brought them into the fold! Alright, so our diplomatic relations have gone down even more. <laughs> okay, we've... Uh... Okay, they've accepted our proposal. Incorporated, we got the mission. And we've gotten alliance offers from Chimu and Chachapoya? Really? Really? <laughs> you want to ally with me? I plan on conquering you, so I'm not going to do that for either of you, but really? You both like me, huh? How about you? You like me, and you like me. I'll be damned, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> I would have sworn everyone hated me around here because I've been conquering and, you know, recently 
vassalized Ichma. But no, I'm not taking either of these offers. All right, and you move up here so that we can abuse the system a bit to uh, take in some of your forces. And let's actually pause, check missions. We need to do manpower, so we'll do that. Uh, the accumulate money would have been nice too, but a lot of our money problems are going to be solved here momentarily. Because uh, it's mainly because we are way over our force limit at the moment. So let's combine these armies and consolidate regiments. And so now, not quite as bad as we were, and I am going to take away... Oh god, what's our manpower now? Oh, still at 20. Still at 20. So I need to get rid of three units. Well, we'll go for you, you, and you. So now I've got two mercenary ones, but yeah, I like having the mercenaries around. So you, yes, we'll just get rid of you. Excellent, now we have a full 20 stack. We are making money again, because we aren't way over our force limit. And actually, we aren't at war, so I'm gonna lower this to here. And there we go, excellent. And let's just move you on up to our capital. And now we can uh, get our manpower. Just worry about that, getting back up and going, which, uh, how high do we have to get it for the... Oh, God, hello, hold on one second. 90% of our manpower. Oh, and our manpower is about 1,800. Oh, God, that's going to take a while. <laughs> okay, so what's the suitable wife thing? Uh, okay, 60% chance of mal Malqui approval. Lose authority. Gain authority, lose stability. I'm going to go with this one. And gain 5 authority. Excellent. Much better. Which also reminds me, I need to boost my stability by 1. There we go. And national decision. Oh, no. I don't need that. Go away. Uh, I could do another thing. Yearly, yearly legitimate. Blah, blah, blah. I can't talk. Yearly inflation reduction. That would be good. But no, 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 no. I'm actually going to hold off on the rest of these for a while. Get the next tech. We almost have the military tech, and oh my god, yay, we'll have horses. Oh, that makes me happy. Though I'm not going to build horses for a while because I'm trying to work on my manpower. So it's going to be a while until we get said horses. Oh, hello, rebels. Hi. I would help you, Ichma, but I'm working on getting my manpower increased. So, And you seem to have it well in hand. So... We'll let that go. And how are my vassals now? I might need to improve relations with both of you. Yes. So let's improve relations. Yes. And you improve relations. There we go. And now I would love to start this war up here that I was talking about. Oh, no. Oh, no. We lost the claim. Oh. Well, that's depressing. Huh. Well, damn. That was such a wonderful plan. <laughs> Declare war on them because each had a claim, but it, it see, the claim seems to have expired. Oh, uh, we're just going to have to declare war on them the old-fashioned way. But okay, we'll take this uh, military tech. Tech 6, beautiful. We now have access to horses, and oh my god, next level we get cannons. <laughs> yes, it's 15.30, and soon, the soon-to-be Incans shall have cannons. <laughs> How far close are we to uh, actually becoming Inca? So we still need those. Uh, Conjamarca, is that one of these ones? Hello, poor government policies. Oh god, and Charca, blah blah blah. Lose stability, lose money. We'll lose the money. And you have some rebels. Have fun with them. <laughs> okay. So yeah, which ones are the ones that I need here? Uh, Kajamarka. Is that one of these? No, he must be one of these up here. Interesting. Oh no, there it is right there. So that's Kajamarka that we need. We also need Juan Savelica 
Oh boy. That's a name. That is a name and a half. Uh, bum, 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 bum. I'm assuming it's somewhere in here. Oh uh, god, I don't know where anything is with these names. <sighs> Interesting. I might have to search for that later. But I'm pretty I'm assuming once we have Ichma and conquer the rest of these guys, we should be good. I don't think any of these have to be colonized. But I could be wrong. I could be wrong indeed. Man, yeah, now that doesn't look like any of them need to be colonized. I want to find where these H ones are. Horonko, that's... So there's the Horonko one. That's one of the ones that I need. Huan Kavelika. Hello? Gain authority, local unrest. Okay, okay. Which province is this? Abansi. Why is it? It's always Abansi. I keep getting these young men and women one in Abansi. So what's your oh, total unrest? Negative 5.6. I'll take this one. There we go. And where is that H province? I would search for it, but I'd never remember how to spell it in the search. <laughs> oh, unpause. Uh, recall our diplomat. Hmm. Interesting. I'll find it one of these days. Uh, but yes. Well, I'm actually really saddened by that. I really wanted to attack these guys for Ichma. That is disappointing. That is very disappointing. I'll just have to gain some stability. And, uh... Force a war onto them. <laughs> or wait until Ichmo's, you know, able to be annexed and just take them. But <laughs> How long do I have to wait for that? Oh my god, I could... What? Holy crap, I could annex them now? I just took them recently. Huh. Huh. I kind of want to wait to annex them until after I do the next religious reform. Because Oh no, our military leader died. Uh, because they seemed pretty good about helping us with our rebel issues. So that'd probably be a good thing. Probably be a good thing indeed to have them around with us. Yes, military power. Oh my god, that general sucks. You know what? I'm dismissing him. I'm trying again. I know that's wasting military power, but he was just so awful. Better? Still not great, but okay. He can, he'll do. He'll do. Because that other one was just so awful. All he had was one point in maneuver. All right, inflation and diplo power. We'll take that one. And on that note, we should reduce inflation. There we are. Excellent. Excellent indeed. Things are going well. Things are going quite well. And soon we will be able to take another, another religious reform. I don't know which one I want to take, though, for the next one. I'm kind of thinking the legitimacy one, but I don't know. The colony one might be interesting. But no, no. Even though I've got a lot of provinces, I really don't have the a vast amount of money to be colonizing with. Uh, and once we have annex Ichma, we'll have coastal provinces, because really, that was the one reason I wanted to, to uh, grab a colonist. But, oh, there's that H1. The Hoan Kavecula. Okay, yeah. So once I grab Ichma, that's most of the provinces that I need. Excellent. Uh, but yeah, once I take Ichma, that'll be great. Because then I'll have access to coastal provinces. I'll have most of the places I need to uh, become the Incas. So I'll wait. The colonizing, I think, will be the last one I take. We will do probably core creation first. Should I change this culture? Oh, hello. Nope, go away, Chachapoya. I don't love you. Hmm. I'm worried about the next time we do have rebels, though, because I'm at the level with cavalry now. I should probably build some cavalry before that happens. <clears throat> we cannot have more than 50% cavalry comprising ours, so pretty standard affair. With a 20 stack, I should probably have... Hmm... I think maybe four or five build some. Be good. Once we have our manpower back up and running, 
Oh, it's always the worst thing. Freaking manpower, man. I know a lot of people... Oh, hold on. Royal marriage? Oh, yeah. I'll accept that. A lot of people have suggested it, and I wish, I wish Paradox would listen. Uh, that when you uh, dismiss a unit in your own land, it should be added back to the manpower. Because, I mean, it doesn't make sense. They're in your land. What are they going to do? What did you do? Just kill them all? No, no. They'd go back home to their farms. Well, maybe you killed them all if you're a really horrible tyrant. But uh, not me. Not me. I'm a good... Honest Emperor. Uh, let's see. Temples. More of these. More cash. Cash monies. And build those. Excellent. Actually, on these. I should probably be building more Earth Ramparts as well. <laughs> I didn't think about that. Probably be a good idea to have. Hmm. Especially for once we get rebellions again. Means we have more time to deal with the rebels before they take the land. Oh man, a comet! Ah, worst event in the game by far. Doesn't matter what it is. It's negative one stability. Damn you, comet! Damn you to hell! Oh god! Oh man, I gotta boost this again. There we go. <laughs> I hate that comet event. That is just such a horrible thing. Uh, okay. They no longer have a rivalry. Good for you. I mean, I'm going to kill you, but... Oh, God, which on that note, do I have the any rivals that I can do? <laughs> so I think I've lost all of my rivals. Um, yeah, no possible rivals. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, well, I mean, look at us. Look at us. And where we are. The only other major power in this area was Ichima. And they're my vassal now. So, yeah. Man, my legitimacy is awful. Whew. That's not good. Uh, oh, well. They only have 12% desire. Oh, what's this? Chief conspiring against Hunya Kapik Iquisqui. Ooh, that probably wasn't said right at all. Oh, God, ten nationalists. Um. Oh, God. <laughs> so, 50% chance of nationalists popping, but it's more nationalists. Or definitely have nationalists pop, but it's fewer. And you also get other helpful things. Oh, boy. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Where is this province that this is going to happen in? Uh, da, 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 where is this province? Oh god, they're going to pop here in Ayaviri. Well, we're going to have to do it. I mean, this is I think this is the best one to go with because if we I mean, that's a 50% chance of more nationalists with which my luck will get. So, I guess we'll take this one. <laughs> Oh, hi, Ayaviri. Let's unpause. Ichma, you helped me last time. You're... Oh, God, you're not going to help me this time, are you? Damn you, Ichma. Damn you to hell. <laughs> oh, well, I've got overwhelming numbers. Well, now they're joining in. Okay. Hopefully they'll get there in time. Cause, oh, God, I forgot about my morale. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> God. I had turned my morale down to save money. Oh, no. Well, my vassals are taking care of it. Oh, I completely forgot about that. And holy crap, he beat the others, too, even though they joined after me. Oh, wow. Um, don't take the prestige. Damn. Okay. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Money all the way up. Oh, my God. I'm losing five now. That's because I need to reinforce... Damn, I can't believe that. That is... Uh, still, though, that is just so freaking stupid. It was seven armists, seven nationalists against a 20 stack. That's just... Ugh. Oh, the annoying crap that this game does. All right, well, we should be good. Our morale's up. And we're going to get the unfortunate mountain debuff, sadly, but we are going to win the fight. There we go. Okay. 
Oh, all that work towards my manpower. <laughs> oh god, and we're closing in on the religious reform, which is going to ruin my manpower even further. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> soon, though. Soon. Cannons. Yay. Uh, uh, let's see. One more of those, and we get one to yearly prestige. Which would be nice. But not entirely useful for me at the moment. Oh, and actually, let's pause. Uh, this has been the first half hour of the stream, so I've got to end my YouTube recording that I do as well. So if you are watching the stream, just keep on watching. And if you are watching this on YouTube after the fact on Tuesdays and Thursdays, why weren't you here? Come and join the stream next week, Sundays at 9 p.m. Unless, of course, like last week, my internet was out. So, uh, yeah, later.